Hey, what's up guys, Scamfiv here, and welcome to this upgraded Lucas review. As you can see, we've got me in the right wing position in this uh, BPL League 1 French team. Yeah, I don't know, just something I threw together. But um, anywho, as you can see, in 6 games, he's got 6 times and got 4 assists. Currently going for around 1 to 2k, so he is pretty cheap, so you can pick him up for um, yeah, pretty much nothing. And um, yeah, he was actually pretty fun to use. I did feel a massive upgrade in his dribbling, and in doing that, um, he did feel a lot quicker than his previous card. And I think that's just down to the dribbling being improved, which made him feel a lot more fluid, a lot more smoother to dribble with. And um, yeah, it's just really good on the ball, to be honest. Medium, medium work rates suck a bit, because um, it means he's not making as many attacking runs as I'd like, and he has only got 76 attack position. But um, that wasn't too bad, to be honest, can't complain too much. As I say, he does feel a lot quicker in game, and it is down to that dribbling, in my opinion. 88 dribble on his card, which is very, very nice. 78 crossing. His crossing's decent. It's not ridiculously good, but it is decent, and uh, obviously did get a few assists, so I can't complain too much on that. And he has got 69 finishing, which is a bit of a shame, really. I did expect a bit more of an upgrade on his finishing, but I can't complain too much because um, his finishing wasn't too bad. Saying that, it was inconsistent, but when it was on target, it was good, and it did test the keeper because of his shot power, but when it was off target... Pfft, blaze wide which was uh yeah a bit annoying but as i said i think that's down to the shot power because when he does break through and go as you're about to see here does really really well and then blazes it wide however in the next clip as you're about to see when he does get it on the target the shot power's there and then um, the keeper's got no chance so that's one of the uh, really weird positives about him his shot power is a huge positive but it's also can be a huge negative um if you're not getting the t uh, shot fully on target because when it is on target as i say it will test the keeper or go in so yeah 84 shot power i believe he's got so that is pretty good to see but the main thing about this guy is definitely the dribbling his dribbling feels really good he's really agile on the ball and he's just really fun to dribble with i mean i'm not much of a skill myself but he does have four star skill moves and i imagine for skills you will enjoy skilling this guy because um yeah as i say very agile very quick on the ball and uh, can break away from the fences at uh, one skill in past them which is pretty awesome as you can see, he does like to switch wings himself. I don't do custom tactics, I don't switch wings in games, but I did feel that he did switch wings a lot himself, which um, was a bit confusing, but it was good because it meant I got to use him a bit more. Uh, draws a penalty here, I believe he draws two penalties in his game, and sadly he only scores one of them, because on the other one, I got cocky, tried to chip it down the middle, and um, the goalkeeper saved it, so that's kind of my fault. But uh, shows his pace here, he's very, very quick, very, very quick, and that is one of the things I like to have him. Obviously, you guys know, massive pace also, obviously I'm going to enjoy Lucas, but um, yeah. As I say, one of my uh, big improvements from his previous card is definitely the dribbling, which in doing so did make this card feel a lot quicker. Positives for me was obviously the pace and the dribbling. His crossing felt uh, good as well. Obviously, as I said, it's not a like, much ridiculous accurate crossing, but because he's so quick, he can create them chances and put a ball into the box, which is good. His balance and agility, once again, make it really fun to run with him, and his shot power of 84 is uh, really nice too. Negative for me was he is pretty weak, as you could probably expect with a fast winger. Has only got a three-star weak foot and his heading because um, he actually did have quite a lot of back post headers, but uh, just didn't put them on target for me, which is um, obviously a bit confusing. Overall, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 and I recommend picking him up to upgrade your previous Lucas. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment below who you'd like to review next. Have a good day. Adios.